My name is Samuel Chong. I'm a certified court interpreter and a Chinese translator in Los Angeles. I'd like to talk to you about a book called The Theoba Prophecy, written by Michel de Marquet, someone who was in Keynes, Australia, who was taken away by this group of、um, ETs who have an advanced civilization for nine days and then came back. He was told a lot of the mysteries and paranormals.、Um, About the Earth, such as who built the Great Pyramid, for what purposes, what happens in the Bermuda Triangle, the purpose of life, and what's really happened to Jesus and Christ, and the stories in the Bible. Back in June 1987, he was、um, asleep in the middle of the night, but he suddenly woke up and walked back to the his yard. He didn't know why, but he left a note to his wife saying that he will be gone for ten days, and there will be no need to worry about him. And he was taken away by Tao, a beautiful ET who is nine or ten foot tall, blonde, and, and、um, really, really compassionate, loving person, to her spacecraft, where he was、uh, taken to the planet called Theoba for nine days. It's a very beautiful planet that、uh, is surrounded by a golden mist. So he also calls that planet the Golden Planet. It happened in 1987, in June, and Michel de Marquet, the author of the book, was taken to their planet,、um, and they chose him because,、uh, according to their accounts, Michel de Marquet was a man of action. He was instructed to write a book, and also he was one of the Few of、uh, so-calls on Earth. A so-call is someone who has had、uh, 80 past lifetimes, and he revealed his past 80 lives, and he was chosen to take on the task of、uh, bringing messages and warnings to the people on Earth. The planet is beautiful because、uh, everything is so perfect, in the sense that、uh, it seems to Michel de Marquet that it is a paradise, a heaven-like planet. He saw a lot of、uh, vibrant colors, beautiful trees, and people there were loving. They have、uh, very high technologies, such as、um, a gravitational anti-gravitational device, to move around. They don't have a lot of. They don't have any pollutions, and they have、uh, a lot of the supernatural powers that we see, as described、uh, in the Bible, as documented. Uh, Uh, that Jesus Christ performed. For example, they could levitate. They could materialize objects. They could、uh, communicate through telepathy. They can also、uh, do a lot of other things that、uh, people can imagine. They tell us that we are in the wrong direction of our path by focusing too much on the materialistic life, or focusing too much on the technology development. Uh, instead, we should focus more on spiritual development, because、uh, technology without spiritual development is leading us to the downturn. If we don't do something about it, catastrophes are going to happen. They are warning us and to ask us to consider living a more spiritual life, exactly like what Jesus taught us two thousand years ago. I would like to go about the, the meaning of life. The meaning of life is that、uh, we are spiritual beings in a physical body. We are responding to the challenges that we face in our lifetimes by、uh, learning the spiritual lessons.、Uh, we accumulate what we experience and respond to the challenges, and we learn the lessons by responding to the challenges correctly. When God created every one of us, it inserted a tiny portion of itself to our physical bodies, so that it can experience what we experience in lifetime. So, in a sense, we are part of God, and God is part of us. We need to learn spiritual lessons in our lifetimes.、Uh, there are a total of nine different categories of planets in the universe. We are living on category one planet. They are living on category nine planet. The highest category, we are like elementary school students learning the basics. They are like、uh, university professors guiding us and、uh, like our mentors. So we learn lessons and we move up the ladder to a category, of, higher category of planet, and they constantly try to help us directly or indirectly.
and I'm a friend of、uh, Michel de Marquet, the author of the book The Theobat Prophecy. He passed away five years ago, and I carried on his mission to spread the messages in his book. I also helped him to get a book published in both China and Taiwan, where it became a bestseller in both countries. And the messages in the book are really important for us to、uh, take account and to、um, follow. Basically, we are spiritual beings in a physical body. We learn spiritual lessons, and we accumulate the lessons to our next lifetimes. So, reincarnation is real. According to the book, Michel de Marquet saw his eighty past lives, and in each lifetime, he learned his lessons. Similarly, in our lifetime, we need to do the right thing. We need to love each other and to be spiritual, and to really、um, like what Christ taught us to love yourself and your enemies. And this is the strongest message in the book. Michel de Marquet was told that the Great Pyramid of Egypt. Was built seventeen thousand years ago by the man named Thoth from Atlantis. He was a wise person who knew the technologies of anti gravity and also the supersonic vibratory systems. He used the, the supersonic vibratory systems to cut the huge stones in a very, in a very precise manner, and he used the anti gravitational technologies to rise to raise the stones. Um, so that they are in alignment, the Great Pyramid was actually a tool to communicate with、uh, ETs from other planets or on, on, on other planets, because a pyramid can accumulate、uh, or capture cosmic and terrestrial forces.、Um, it was also used to make rain by incorporating a metal plate made of a silver alloy. So it's not a tomb for the pharaohs. But it's a tool、uh, for communications. One of the things that Michel de Marquet didn't write in the book was that there are three chambers beneath the Sphinx. He says that Tao, the、um, his mentor, told him that when we are ready spiritually, the three chambers can be opened. When that happens, everything will be known. It's like a book of historical records. It's very interesting that、uh, Edgar Casey also said the same thing. Michel de Marquet was also told what、uh, the Bermuda what happens in a Bermuda Triangle. <clears throat> Michel de Marquet was also informed what happens in the Bermuda Triangle. It is a portal or warp to a parallel universe. When people or pl- planes or ships are nearby the warp, they got sucked into it. Um, in a parallel universe, time stops and people don't feel any pain, hunger, or thirst. It explains many of the missing 411 cases by David Polidus, in which people get got vanished in strange and mysterious scenarios.、Um, it also mentions about the story of、um, Charles Ashmore, who. Gun, who just vanished、uh, in the middle of the night when he was trying to get some water from a well in the backyard of his house.、Uh, it was snowing, and people would just follow his footsteps, but the footsteps、um, stopped in the middle of the place. And,、um, he also got sucked into a parallel universe. There existed、uh, ancient civilizations on Earth. Lemuria was one of them. Back 250,000 years ago, people on the planet Arima X3、uh, were overpopulated, and they wanted to migrate to a different planet. They found Earth and decided to migrate themselves on the continent of Lemuria.、Um, they encountered the Chinese people on the north the western corner of the continent. They had a war, and they、uh, went back to. The far side of the moon and built alien bases so that could they could transfer their people and materials step by step, face by face to Earth.、Um, so they built a very successful and highly,、uh, highly spiritual civilization on the continent of Lemuria. They built a great pyramid that's three times as large as the current pyramid in Egypt,、um, in their capital. 
and they lived a life without money. Everyone was so compassionate and loving. No one took advantage of each other. They just uh, got their what they needed from the market. And they had uh, also uh, a lot of uh, technologies um, that they used to build uh, some of the architectural stone structures in South America where they've colonized. Atlantis and Lemuria don't exist anymore because back 14,500 years ago, Lemuria sunk into the ocean because of a huge earthquake. The gaster spells beneath the continent um, formed a lot of um, volcanoes and, and earthquakes, so everything kind of disappeared overnight. Uh, similar things might um, probably happen in Atlantis. The book didn't say anything about Atlantis, except by saying that uh, since the disappearance of Atlantis, people uh, were no longer as spiritual and great technologies were lost. So that's why if you see the Great Pyramid, um, it was the best one. And the pyramids built after the Great Pyramid of Egypt were smaller and, and more uh, coarse than the, uh, than the Pyramid of in Egypt. The Chinese people and the black people, or the yellow people and the black people, came from a different planet called Bakaratini, according to the book Theoba Prophecy. They came to Earth about 1.35 million years ago because uh, Bakaratini, their own planet, was cooling down on the core. So when a planet cools down, when the core cools down, it uh, no longer can capture the electromagnetic forces. Uh, the atmosphere. Uh, so that's why they have to move to a different planet. Same thing happened to Mars. Uh, Mars cooled down, um, so it loses the electromagnetic forces to capture the atmosphere. So that's why it became, it became a desert. Uh, so they moved to Earth and established uh, colonies here. Uh, the black people established themselves in Australia, and the yellow people in Myanmar southern Myanmar, um, and uh, they coexisted peacefully uh, because they learned great lessons from the past. They had a war on their planet, and, um, and since then, they got along well. Contrary to conventional wisdom, the moon is actually moving closer to Earth, not farther from Earth. In about uh, 200,000 years or so, if we don't... Uh, move to another planet, the uh, moon will crash to Earth, and that will be the end of Earth and our civilization. So this is the information given by the uh, Theobans to us. One of the things that Michel de Marquet didn't write in the book was about the greys, the grey aliens. According to a telepathic message that Michel de Marquet received from Tao, the ETs uh, from Theoba, the Greys lived on a Category 1 planet, the same category as Earth, the lowest category in the universe. They came to Earth, Earth to observe us uh, because they were losing their immune system. They implanted devices on some of us, um, about 150 people or so by the year 1995, just to observe up and track us how we respond to the same situation because we have also been losing our immune system since 1948. According to Tao, the Theobans, um, that there is absolutely no harm to the implants they placed on us, and they have been watching the, the grace activities closely just to ensure that there is no harm caused. A friend of mine um, hiked in the Yosemite, Yosemite National Park about a few months ago. She got injured herself on, on her ankle. And then when he came back to Los Angeles, um, during the night, he encounter, she encountered the grace who kind of healed her, and she recovered the next day. It was amazing, and she was astonished. Uh, they used a, kind of a light, a yellow light, to heal her. And um, in exchange, uh, they were able to observe her and her activities and kind of uh, followed her and kind of helped her along the way. And uh, this is uh, her experience, a uh, positive experience uh, with the grace, even though she believed that the grace looked uh, extremely ugly. And uh, 
but she got lucky after her experience. I also want to say something about the Greys. It is possibly true that the Greys have been collaborating with the U.S. government, but I would say that if the U.S. government really wants to learn ET technologies and to obtain information, they should learn from the Theobans, the people, the ETs that live on Category 9 planet, because I believe in learn from the best. And they, if they're learning from the Greys, um, who also live on Category 1 planet, they're equivalent to learning from your peers. You should learn from the masters, not learn from your peers. I mean, you won't, you can, you can do that, but it's best that you learn from the best. Before I read this book, Theoba Prophecy, I didn't believe anything written in the Bible. Even though I attended churches in Los Angeles, the Mandarin Baptist Church in Los Angeles, I believed nothing that the pastor preached. I went to the church just to socialize and to expand my network so that I can get some leads for my business. Uh, but after reading the book Theobah Prophecy, it connects all the dots about Jesus and Christ and Moses and stories in the Bible. According to this book, the Theobans were responsible for the destruction of the two cities, Sodom and Gomorrah, in the ancient past. They were responsible for leading Moses out of Egypt by giving the Hebrews uh, manna and parting the sea of reeds, uh, leading them to um, Canaan or Canaan, and um, thus there was um, the teachings of um, Mount Sinai. Um, Jesus and Christ are actually two beings. Jesus was a person who was born out of Virgin Mary from the embryos, from the embryo implanted by the ETs, the Theobans. Even though he was uh, highly spiritual and highly intelligent, being able to have an in-depth conversation with the teacher of the temple, um, he couldn't perform miracles. This is why in the Bible there's no record of Jesus performing miracles before the age of 28 or 30. He traveled to India and died in Japan, so people can visit the Japanese village called Shingo Village and to see the tomb of Jesus Christ. There, people sing a song that sounded like an ancient Hebrew language, and they also had different customs from the rest of the Japanese villages. And uh, the book goes into detail on how that happened. Um, and so it's very interesting that uh, the Japanese people recorded the past, and also people can see that there's a tomb next to the tomb of Jesus Christ, that's the brother's tomb, uh, as mentioned in the book. Christ, on the other hand, is an ET being from Theoba who took on the body of Jesus made by the Tauri, uh, the uh, seven masters on the planet of Theoba. So they actually made another body that looked like Jesus, and an ET from Theoba entered into that body, and because he entered it that way, he remembered everything that he was supposed to do, and he remembered how to perform miracles. Because when a person enters into the embryo, um, the astral body forgets all the knowledge, all the knowledge that he accumulated. Uh, so uh, the Jesus who went to Japan couldn't perform miracles because he passed through the river of oblivion, forgetting all the knowledge that he accumulated in the past forgetting how to perform miracles. But Christ, on the other hand, because he took on the body of Jesus made by the Theobans, he remembered how to perform miracles. So they did that because the Hebrews in the past didn't believe anything unless um, someone could perform miracles. Um, they were Christ was trying to preach about spirituality and love and reincarnation, but somehow the concept of reincarnation was removed by the Catholic Church. Uh, it was a Christ who died on the cross and resurrected three days after. He did that just to show that there is life after life, and people need to focus on the present and how to respond to the challenges in their lifetimes by um, also by behaving spiritually. 
The Star of Bethlehem was、uh, recorded in the Bible. It's actually a UFO craft by the Theobans. So、uh, the ancient Chinese、uh, astrono- astronomical astronom <laughs> the the ancient Chinese records documented、uh, this kind of、uh, strange phenomenon、uh, on the sky. So they were able to document the exact date of the birth of Jesus.、Uh, that was actually in five BC.、Um, and the、uh, People can look up the article that I wrote on my website about the birth of Jesus, and there's also a birth of Jesus、uh, chart、uh, given to astronomer、uh, by a mysterious person who claimed that he got a date from the Vatican records,、um, and that chart shows that Jesus Christ was a perfect human being, a perfect being with both spiritual and practical. And、uh, you can see the chart、uh, that's aligned perfectly、uh, of a perfect human being. I think that's very interesting because it、uh, matches the accounts of the book Theobald Prophecy. Because when Christ was came into the body of Jesus, made by the Theobans,、um, that happened in the year、um, AD twenty eight. And the Chinese、uh, records, ancient historical records, were able to pinpoint the exact date of the crucifixion of Christ,、uh, because there was an eclipse, eclipse、uh, documented in the Chinese records. So that happened in、uh, AD, the year thirty-one. The crucifixion occurred in the year thirty-one AD, and Christ remembered that he would be crucified. There was a story recorded in the、uh, Ethiopian version of the Bible, in which、uh, the pilot was trying to save Jesus or Christ from being crucified, and he was even to sacri- even willing to sacrifice his own son、uh, to replace Christ to be the person to be crucified on the cross, but Christ refused. Uh, because he knew that it was his destiny to be crucified on the cross, and、um, just to show people that he could be reborn again. So it's recorded by the Ethiopian Bible. That's very interesting. According to the Theobans, they sometimes intervened directly and sometimes indirectly. The most recent、uh, occasion would be during World War Two. In which Germany was also trying to develop an atomic bomb, the Theobans、um, interjected and intervened by preventing Germany from being the first country to develop the atomic bomb. So, in a sense, they sided with the U.S. government at that time because they believed that U.S. government was more sincere in helping the humanity、uh, during World War II. There's、uh, evidence about it.、Uh, the German scientist Heisenberg. Was trying to develop the atomic bomb.、Um, he was more、uh, advanced or in a better position to do so than the American scientists at that time. But somehow he made a stupid mistake by believing that in order to make the bomb, a lot of the raw materials, plutonium, need to be prepared, and it was impossible for Germany to do so at that time. He wrote a report, and it was given to Hitler, and Hitler gave up the plan. So the U.S. government was able to make the bomb earlier than Germany. So the book Theobald Prophecy enlightens us regarding ET technologies. One of the easy way, one of the most easy ways for us to apply the technology is just to use colors, because、uh, according to them, colors are vibrations, and vibrations can affect our health. So different colors have different.、Uh, Health effects or benefits to us. For example,、um, there are clinical studies that show that green light uh, uh, relieves the migraines on different people、uh, and helps people to alleviate their headaches. And also,、um, the color blue, according to a study by Harvard Medical School,、um, has antibacterial antiviral effects.、Uh, this is a 
the color therapy that we can incorporate in our lifetimes. Um, so um, people can paint their rooms into different colors and wear vibrant, colorful clothes uh, to get more energy. It's also important to know that uh, the pink color um, reduces muscle. <laughs> the pink color reduces muscle strength. So after watching pink color for 15 minutes, uh, you lose 30% of your muscle strength. And the football coach in the University of Iowa uh, knew about this, and he painted the locker rooms of the visiting teams into pink color. And um, so he never lost a home game. On the planet Theoba, Michel de Marquet was given a colorful rope or cloth that is dedicated or specially made for him saying that the colors can energize or stimulate certain points on the human body, the um, chakra points or the human energy field. So I'm actually in the development of uh, uh, color therapy clothing in which the colors would be on the wrong side or the inner side of the fabric so that it could energize or stimulate the human body more effectively. The ultrasonic vibratory system is a system that the ancient people on Lemuria used to cut the huge stones in a very precise manner. So this is why you see the statues on Easter Island um, of uh, so wonderful that even with modern technologies, we probably cannot make the same statues. So they are able to move the statues uh, using uh, anti-gravitational technologies, and they're able to cut the huge stones using like a supersonic knife. Antimatter guns can destroy space dusts and the space uh, asteroids because when you're traveling at a very fast speed, even a tiny small space dust would destroy the windows or uh, the walls of the spacecraft. So this is why uh, they use the antimatter guns to form a protection shield around the spacecraft. So this is why when people like Elon Musk want to develop a, a spacecraft for deep space travel, they should consider uh, using antimatter guns to uh, protect themselves. Project Westford is uh, a project developed by the U.S. Uh, government in the 1960s. When Michel de Marquet asked uh, the Theobans that no one would believe anything that he wrote in the book when he uh, writes the book, uh, they responded by saying that you can mention about uh, the hundreds of millions of needles that they released into space and how they got uh, disappeared. Uh, so this is actually Project Westport, in which the U.S. government, through, I think, MIT, released hundreds of millions of needles into space in order to improve the telecommunication systems on Earth. They think that the signals would uh, bounce back when they hit the, the copper needles, uh, so that the signals would be uh, stronger. But uh, the Theobans believe that the needles would be harmful for the people on Earth, so they collected the needles. So this is why the Project Westford was a failed project, um, because the Theobans uh, collected the needles uh, from space. There are ET or alien spaces on the dark side of the moon, because uh, back 250,000 years ago, back 250,000 years ago, when the Lemurians, when the people from Arimo X3 were trying to migrate to Earth, they used uh, the moon, the backside of the moon, as a transfer station. So they built alien bases on the far side of the moon. So this is why some people uh, suspect that the NASA was hiding something from us. Yes, they did. Uh, they, erased, they erased all the uh, images of artificial structures from the pictures of the far side of the moon. Uh, there are going to be additional evidence about it in the future. 
I think when more and more people explore the moon, they're definitely going to see artificial structures on the far side of the moon. And they need to remember that they were built by the people from Arimo X3 uh, for the purposes of uh, uh, transfer stations when they migrate themselves uh, to Earth. Uh, we also we are also warned off from the moon because when our when our astronauts uh, landed on the moon, they were told not to go back, not to come back, because we are not ready. We are still fighting against ourselves. We are not spiritually evolved enough to explore the universe. Imagine that when you see two groups of monkeys fighting against each other in a zoo. Would you invite them to your beautiful mansion? No, you wouldn't, because uh, uh, they are going to mess your mansion up. They are going to destroy the nice uh, decorations that you have in your house. Similarly, we are not ready to explore the universe yet. Even if we want to do so, it would we would be prevented from doing so, because uh, we would cause a lot of uh, issues in the universe, uh, trying to get resources from other planets. So this is why when you see um, some of the science fictions, they're also uh, telling you that uh, the ETs are going to get our resources. Uh, this is just their imagination. The ETs won't extract our mineral resources because, first of all, they um, have sufficient resources themselves, or they could materialize their resources. Second, they're highly spiritual spiritually advanced enough uh, to know how to keep uh, a more peaceful, harmonious relationship with uh, people on Earth. Back 1.35 million years ago, when the people from Akbakaratini were trying to explore the planets in our solar system, they saw that there were life forms on Mars. There were people on Mars at that time. People were highly spiritual, even though they don't have a lot of technologies, and they uh, have uh, scarce resources, like only a few kinds of animals and plants. So that's why they gave up the idea of uh, migrating their people on Mars. So that's why they came to Earth. Um, and since then, Mars uh, has cooled down and became a dead planet. So I want to tell Elon Musk, if you really want to explore Mars, think again. Because if you want to explore that planet, you will need to make a great efforts to provide uh, a lot of the resources for people to survive on the planet, on that planet. Ghosts are electrons from our astral bodies. When we die, our astral bodies leave our physical bodies. 19% of electrons remain in nature until they're recycled by nature or when the person reincarnates again. That 19% of electrons uh, form the ghost. Because of static forces, ghosts resemble the shape of the person when the person was alive. And also because electrons have memories, ghosts frequently haunt the places they loved or hated. The other 81% of electrons go back to the higher self after three days. So this is why Jesus Christ resurrected after three days. Um, and this is why the Tibetan people don't touch the corpse of the dead for three days. The name of the book is uh, Theoba Prophecy. Uh, Theoba is pronounced as the Theoba uh, in the French pronunciation. And the spelling is T-H-I-A-O-O-U-B-A -O -O and Pico People can find the book on Amazon, and you can also find uh, my website by going to chinasona.org slash theoba with the capital letter T. Please consider supporting Super Soldier Talk by purchasing your own Neo Meditation device. Your Neo Meditation device will help you reduce stress, integrate trauma, enhance intuition, enhance clairvoyance, and enhance creativity. 
Get yours now at www.neologicaltech.com. Yeah.